welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Joanna and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of materials. I've placed this question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. So we have a flow chart here and part A is asking us to name materials X and Y. So let's find out what material X could be by tracing our flow chart towards X. So let us take our highlighter and let's trace the flow chart. So it says, is it a natural material? What is a natural material? Natural means obtained from nature, like from plants, animals or obtained from the ground. So the flow chart claims that X is not a natural material, which means X must be a man-made material. Some examples of man-made materials are like glass or ceramic. Glass is made from sand and ceramic is made from clay. So let's write down glass or ceramic. Now, let's find out what Y is. What students tend to do is that they just focus on this part of the flowchart here, which is the part that claims that Y does not sink. And immediately, students think of plastic as their answer, as plastic does not sink, and they write down plastic. However, this answer is absolutely wrong. Why wrong? Because if we were to trace our flowchart, it shows us that Y is a natural material and it does not sink. So there are two properties about Y here. And if students write plastic as their answer, they would get it wrong as plastic is not a natural material. It is man-made and it is made from chemicals. So to avoid this mistake, we always ask our students to trace their flowchart. And when we trace it, we can clearly see that Y has to be both natural and it should not sink. And one possible answer is wood. Wood comes from trees, which means it is natural. And wood also does not sink. So Y is wood. Next, let's look at part B. It says, write a suitable question for part 1 in the flowchart. And the question has to be related to properties of materials. Like for example, is it flexible? Is it absorbent? Is it strong? So let's look at what question could fit in here. When we answer this question, it says, no cotton. And it says, yes, to both iron and rubber. Let's find a property that iron and rubber have in common that cotton does not. Let me give you a hint. When we place iron and rubber in water, would they absorb the water just like how a sponge would? No, right? So if iron and rubber does not absorb water, it means they are not absorbent. And therefore, we can say that they are both waterproof. So let's write it down. Water. However, how about cotton? When we place cotton in water, it's going to absorb the water and that's why we say that cotton is an absorbent material. And if it is absorbent, it means it is not waterproof. So, what could our question be? Could it be, is it waterproof? Let's check. When we answer no, cotton, which is not waterproof. And when we answer yes, it belongs to both iron and rubber, which are waterproof material. So that answers part B. Is it waterproof? Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we made, click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!